as you guys can see behind me, I'm getting backed up on wood right now and I have to move it. And I thought this would be a really good opportunity to show you guys my little journey on what I'm gonna be buying here to get all this stuff moved. So I want you guys to stay tuned. But my budget right now is $5,000. So I'm gonna be buying a machine and a trailer and I'm gonna to try to get it down below $5,000. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. So today, I'm going to go ahead and pick up a trailer, and I'm going to explain to you guys why here in a second. Stay tuned. All right, guys. So I am here in Linden, Michigan. I'm actually a guy named Steven. He's selling his trailer to me. Really nice guy. And uh, we're looking at about a, what was it about, what, what was the length of this trailer here? Uh, I believe 12 feet. Yeah, 12 feet by very close to six, maybe five very, and a half. Very, close. Yeah, so pretty excited about it because I'm going to be using this trailer like I was explaining in the beginning of the video we'll be picking up a skid steer for the house so very excited about it and I think this is going to do the trick so this would be perfect so thanks man I do appreciate it oh, no problem it. no problem so what so so total damage what do I owe you 600 600 smackers total 600 <laughs> for a lovely rusty trusty well, Steven actually recognized me well he noticed the uh, truck master emblem on the back of my window but he has a GMC and he's planning on getting rid of it unfortunately it's a sad day sad day indeed but <laughs> time to go need better gas mileage yep definitely uh, GMC all the way though why, why are you getting rid of the truck well I beat the crap out of it for one and also well 12 miles per gallon ain't too good for getting a new job traveling an hour away so got a Toyota Camry I tell you four banger for life right as long as you're saving gas that's all that matters yeah that's for sure it makes an insane difference so what do you want for this guy uh about 2500 2000 I mean transmission actually holds up well I don't know if it'll hold up well much longer with me driving it because I reef on it that's but. right this is America man exactly <laughs> she doesn't get stuck I'll tell you that there you go there you go good old tire do you have an Instagram oh uh, yeah it's Steven XMB all right I'm gonna go ahead and hook up this trailer and we'll go ahead and all get right. out of your hair thanks all right sounds good thank you Now that I got it home here, let me give you a quick rundown on what we're actually looking at. It seems to be sort of like a hydraulic brake system. So from what the guy was explaining to me was when you hit the brake, it's going to actuate the fluid to apply brakes to the actual axles. I think he cut me a brake too because the this is the brake line right here and it's plumbed right there. So it looks like whoever did this put a fitting on there of some sort, but really that's not even a huge deal. I can. I can run lines myself, you know, and, and make this work. You guys can tell I have a couple trailers here. You know, we have a few holes here. But overall, man, you know, the deck looks good. I love the sliding ramp idea. This is great. This is awesome. Hey guys, the goal here is to build the sides up eventually. That way you can get it up a little bit higher so I can put more wood in this thing and feel comfortable instead of using my little crappy wood trailers that I have over here because sketchy it was about a 45 minute drive and it tracked perfectly I think I'm on the right track guys I have the Duramax which can haul pretty much anything I have the strong trailer and next I'm gonna be getting the skid steer so we should be on track here all right guys so I'm just getting off the exit right now I probably drove about three hours now with the uh, the skid steer with the load which I'll show you guys when I get home here but the gentleman I bought the skid steer from said it weighs about 3,800 pounds from the last time he checked so that is a lot of weight for a little machine like that. So combined with the actual skid steer plus the trailer, I'd imagine I'm pushing very close to 5,000 pounds. Not too bad of a load. And of course the Duramax is taking it like a champ. Not gonna lie though guys, it's a little sketchy. You know, I just bought the trailer yesterday and I'm already putting it to work. Before I took off from my house to go pick this up, I did a full once over on the trailer to make sure everything checked out because it definitely is a very long drive, you know, from where I live to where I was going but so far so good. Guys that are following me know that I just slapped some uh, Bitterroot diesel injectors, some 60 overs. Man, it was a great investment. The money, you just can't beat that. I'm telling you, if you guys ever are interested in buying some good solid diesel injectors, some good remanufactured diesel injectors, reach out to the guys at Bitterroot Diesel. I'll leave their information in the description below, but this would be my very first long haul after I slapped those injectors in. Man, I am 
gosh, the truck is like a totally different vehicle. I'll tell you what, man, it feels good. This trailer is awesome. I know I got a skid steer and I'm talking about the trailer, but man, two axles, a 12 foot of room, heavy duty trailer, not very long. What a great little investment, dude. Seriously, 600 bucks, man, you can't beat it. So my target of under five grand has definitely been achieved here. Here's a little peak right here. You guys can see it in the back window. All right, let's get home. Here it is, I brought it home safely. Everything checked out great. Very excited about it. Man, I'm excited, you have no idea. I'll go ahead and get it off the trailer and explain to you guys exactly what you're looking at here. As you guys can see already, it's a New Holland skid steer. Let's go ahead and get this thing off. I'll show you guys the motor, what I paid for it, what I paid for the whole rig. I think you guys are gonna be pretty surprised. My son is in love with it, by the way. He's having too much fun seeing all the little controls. Hey, buddy. You having fun? Tractor. Tractor? So this is what we're looking at here, guys. It's a 1982 L325 New Holland. And I believe, I, I, I'm willing to bet if I was a betting man that it either had an Onan or a Wisconsin motor. But somebody did an engine swap. So that is a 24 horsepower Honda, which is awesome. Those are great motors. But when talking to the owner when I picked it up, I asked him if he can drive it around so I can watch him for like 10 minutes. Just drive it around just so I can see how it controls and whatnot. And I asked him if he can pick up some things. <laughs> Guys, you're not going to believe it. He went up to his, he has like this old piece of crap Jimmy in his backyard. I'm sure a lot of you guys know what that is. It's just a small little truck, but he went up behind it and he picked it up with this thing. I couldn't believe it. He picked up the back end of this truck with that. Now, I'm not saying that's going to be safe. And to make it even a little more interesting, he act, I wish I, I should have just pulled the camera out, guys. It was just, it's just too weird, you know, when you're out talking to strangers that don't know you, they don't know that you have a YouTube channel. But after he picked up the Jimmy, he went up to the back end of his tractor. This thing is a beast. I'll tell you what, it's not a huge, gigantic skid steer. It's nothing like serious, like nowadays stuff. I'll tell you what, though, when this kid's about five or six, I'm pulling the keys on this guy right here. There's no way <laughs> he's having too much fun around it. Now, I know what you guys are going to say. Why didn't you get a diesel? Well... I can't afford a diesel, but not only that, you know, I, the maintenance on a diesel in the wintertime, especially up here in Michigan, is insane. You always got to worry about gelled up fuel, and on top of it, it just it just sucks to start in the cold. That's just, let's be honest here. I really don't need the ridiculous amount of power. I believe the lift capacity, after I was doing my research, the lift capacity on this guy right here is about 900 pounds to, to 1,200 or so, like 9 to 1,200. And then, guys, I talked about the trailer, $600. So I just sent him a quick message and said, hey, I got 500 cash. Would you be interested in selling me the trailer for that amount? And then he responded back to me and said, give me 600 and we have a deal. So couldn't pass up the offer. And then this guy right here, he wanted 3750 for his machine. So, you know, he was one of those guys in his listing. He said, don't lowball me. I won't accept any offers. Don't even try. He said a lot of that. And I was like, you know, you know, I would like to talk him down a couple hundred bucks, but realistically, he's asking a pretty fair price for this little machine right here, especially when there's nothing wrong with it. And then there was also another one that I was looking at. It was a lot older. It was a, uh, what was it called? I can't remember the name of it, but it was super old. It was like from the 60s or something like that. It was like one of the first models. And I talked the other guy down to three grand, but the problem was is it was a repo. So the guy didn't know much about his skid steer anyways. So, you know, and they're, they're both in the same area. I was planning on looking at both of them while I was out there. But realistically, this guy that I bought this from here, he keeps up on the maintenance. The dude's super picky about everything. You find a guy like that, that's the kind of equipment that you want to buy. You want to buy something from some guy that has owned it for a long time, has kept up with the maintenance, has done everything to it, has tons of stories about it. But that's the guy that you want to buy from right there. You, because rightfully, they're going to take care of their stuff. So, And he had, a, he had a huge backstory on this one. 
everything has been kept up, maintenance records, everything. So I went forward and I paid the extra 700 bucks and I got something that I'm not gonna worry too much about. I lost a lot of sleep, I did a lot of research, and I was able to get it for under $5,000, well under five grand. So I don't want to drive it around too much today because the ground is a just mud pit out here. I'm going to destroy my yard. I'm going to wait till the ground freezes before I start getting you guys some cool videos on me moving all that wood on the side of my house in a huge pile so you guys can see how this little machine works out. So other than that guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I love doing content on the side, stuff like this, just having a little bit of fun. Now, you guys have to check out my last video. If you guys own a Duramax and you want to know how to do head studs and head gaskets and valve lash and everything in between, you guys got to check out my last video. I was at Ryan's Diesel Service in Wisconsin. Logan, the guy that actually did the install, I videoed. Ryan videoed. We both narrated. If you guys want to learn more helpful videos on how to repair, how to upgrade, how to fix your Duramax, make sure you guys look through some of my older videos. It's really going to help you guys out. Other than that, I do appreciate your time as always. I'm going to get back to the skid steer and have some fun. We'll see you on the next video. Take care. All right, so he's done playing with my tractor. I'll let him uh, get back to what he does.